Hi everyone, in this video I'll be showing you how you can create a modern image gallery in SharePoint using list view and column formatting. We have this solution for free available thanks to a community contributor named Federico Sapia. Alright, let me walk you through all steps needed to have a nice image gallery in SharePoint or Microsoft Lists. Let's go! Here I am in SharePoint, I created an image gallery page where I added two kind of image galleries. Let me click on this page and let me show you what I've done here on this page. Here I have a couple of text web part and in the body of this page I added two list web part. As you can see I have an image gallery here and an advanced image gallery down below. The difference is that this list display only images and provides this icon on the down right corner where I can open the image in the in a new tab of my browser. This is the only option that you, ha that you have in this basic image gallery. If you want to have more but this require edit permission on the list for the end user, you can have this second kind of list. In this case I can click on this image and I can see a preview of the image bigger. Moreover, I have the ability to click on this icon and display the image in a new tab of my browser. I can close this image and I can go back to the previous overview of my image gallery. So this is the second option. I can click on every image and I can see a bigger size of this, of this image. But as I mentioned, you need edit permission on this list, otherwise this second kind of image gallery will not work. This is the classic one where you can see an overview of all the images and then you have this icon. Now, as you may notice, I have here a column and I have just one item on this list. In this item, I can see all images that I want. This because for this column I defined a multi-select column and I have several URL. This URL display immediately a preview of the image. And in the JSON that I'll show you in a bit, there is also the size of this image. So you can change it if you want, you can have bigger images in this image uh, overview. But now let me, let me show you how you can set up this kind of thing. So let me go on my list. I have here a new tab open and this is the classic image gallery. I will add in the description of this video the JSON that you need in order to recreate this kind of approach. You can also create additional items so you can have one item with your metadata and then one image. Second item with another image, so it's up to you how you want to structure this image gallery. So before to walk you through in the JSON, I would like to highlight the great job made by Federico Sapia. The solution is here in the sample solution gallery. It's called multiple thumbnail. And if you click on the button view on GitHub, you will land on the GitHub solution and here you have a preview of this solution how it looks like. You can see these images grouped in a one column and if you go down you have other previews how it looks like this solution. Then there is uh, the second kind of image gallery, the advanced image gallery that provides additional columns like multiple thumbnail, last URL and view time. I'll show you in a bit how it works this thing. All right, now it's it's time to explore the JSON of this solution. This is the this solution it's made possible thanks to list column formatting. In fact, if I go on column settings, format this column, I have now the JSON available, I can see the min width of this column and I can see all uh, classes, CSS class to reproduce this UI. Then there is a iterator because we 
go through every option of this multi select selection column and then we display every every image here we have the href that point point out to the url of the image every image is stored in my site assets you can also add an external link if you want but to make it more practical i added all images in in the site assets of the same sharepoint site collection so you can follow the same approach or as I mentioned, you can link externally an image and this will be automatically displayed here. Then there is the icon which is displayed with this sites with an height and you can change it if you don't like it, it's up to you. And finally, we have the core of this solution which is the image and we have the tag source, the attribute source with a choice iterator which is the URL. So this is the, the JSON for the classic image gallery. And let me show you now this, this column. If I edit this column, you will see that I added every URL of every image. So you can just add here additional images to display all images here in this, in this list. So this is the approach how it works, but if you want to have something different let's say that i will add a second image i can click on the drop down image and now the json the list column formatting will show me in a very fancy way the image so i can select this one for example then i can confirm i can click on save and now i have a second item of this list with this thumbnail so you can Go forward in this way or you can work just with one item on the list and then display all images here so this is uh, will be if you resize the the column the, the image gallery will resize accordingly all right let's jump now on the advanced images gallery and here what i have in this list is the multiple thumbnail column which is uh, again the multi selection column it's a choice column i added all the url here i just typed carriage return after every url and then every image will be available in this column in the last url it is uh, this is used because when i click on every image this will be displayed bigger and in order to do that the url of the selected image should be saved somewhere in this case in this list and then the day time when this thing will happen i have now this image a bit bigger so i can see a better in a better size this this image again i can click here and i have the image available as you can see i have the url of the current image here displayed in the last url and then the current time then i can click again on this icon and this image will be displayed in a new tab all right this is how it works and let me walk you through in this format this column option so i can show you the the json here here we deal with different columns as i said we have view time last url and there is always the choice iterator because we go through every option of this choice column multi selection and then again we have the image with uh, max width max height this is the size of this image you can play and change it if you want there is the source as attribute and title so if i go over i can see the url of this image and then there is the second part of this json which is the function when i click on the image the image is it appears with these sites and then there is the the icon to open the image in another tab so this is how it works this this thing you can find the two version of this json in the description of this video you can also jump directly on the github account of sharepoint of the sharepoint community in order to explore much better this this solution all right now that we build this thing 
I'll show you now how you can uh, do it in a new environment. Let me open now a new tenant that I have here. It's time to create a new list. So let's create a normal list. I'm going to select blank and then I'm going to type image image gallery. I want to pin this in the menu. Let's click on create. So here it's up to you how you want to name this, this column. As I mentioned, we need a choice column. Let's go on next and here let's go with thumbnail for example and I can also save this and don't forget to set allow multiple selections all right let's go on save now that I have this column I can go back to the previous version I'm going to reproduce the classic image gallery so I'm going to click on column settings and then format this column then let's copy the, the full JSON of this thing again on the new list format this column advanced mode and let's select this one save okay now it's saved I can also hide this I don't need this so we can uh, jump uh, on the settings of this column or you can also go on the format current view or edit current view and then you can avoid to display title and this is exactly what I'm going to do. Now thumbnail is visible as only column. The JSON is already there. Now I need to add something. Let's say let me go again on the edit because I need to add all option of this column. To do that I'm going to click on edit and now to be more practical i'm going to copy the existing value that i have so let me go on edit column settings edit i'm going to copy everything here then here i'm going to do the same and then i'm going to replace the url naming the right tenant where i am right now all right, now that I uploaded all the images, I can go back in the image gallery list that I just created. Here I can add just a title. And then in the thumbnail, now I can see all images uploaded in the site assets. So I can now select all images that I want. I am going to display all images available in the site assets. So for that reason, I'm going to select all options available in the choice multi selection column and here we go now i have all columns all images available here i can click here i can open this image in a new tab so following the same approach you can do the same with the advanced image gallery all right we have seen in this video how to reuse an existing solution available in the sharepoint community in order to have a fancy image gallery in SharePoint or Microsoft lists. As always, if you find this video useful, give it a like, subscribe and add a comment down below. Let me know what do you think. I hope to see you next time.